Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Auntie Nell's Kitchen. And for those of you that have returned, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And for my new subscribers, I welcome you to my kitchen as well. And I hope you continue to stick around with Auntie Nell's so we can all have some fun cooking, okay? This, oh, little housekeeping. I always forget my housekeeping, guys. Thank you for all your support. Hit that like button if you please. And the subscribe button, um, if you're watching my videos, the lights really help my, whatever that word is, algorithms, you all know what I'm trying to say. And if you choose to, you can even hit that notification button if, if you, so when Auntie uploads, you'll see. Okay, so anyway, let's get started back to what we really want to do, cooking. Today, we're going to be making quick banana bread. And what I mean quick is that we're going to be using a box lid mix, because guys, you know I'm not. I'm not home, so it won't be uh, like scratchy, 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 but we're going to be uh, making a box mix. So I'm going to tell you what we're, you're going to be needing, okay? You're going to need two boxes of this crustage banana nut bread. And for those of you that have nut allergies, get the quick, the one that's by um, Pillsbury that says quick bread, no nuts. It just says banana bread. This, we're doing with nuts. It's for my daughter-in-law and my son. So um, use the banana nut, two boxes of this. Even though it says banana nut and that's included, it has no banana aroma to it. And the nuts are very, very, very unrecognizable. So I'm, I'm dressing this up. I, done it before with box mixes, you know, to dress them up. So what I'm doing to this, I'm going to be adding two smashed, very ripe bananas, because I let some bananas ripen because I knew I was going to make this for them. Two well ripened bananas. Six eggs that I've uh, beaten before I can add them to the mixture. two-thirds cup of oil of your choice. Um, you can use vegetable oil, corn, or whatever. This is um, olive oil, because this is what they like to use. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, guys. And this is a four ounce bag of um, chopped walnuts I'm gonna be adding. Because like I said, there the nuts in here are just very, you can't even see them. And you're going to use one, you know, the box says, you know, one half cup of water. But I'm going to add one half cup of half and half and one half cup of water. But before I can do that, I'm going to have to go through the mix and I'm going to show you guys there's no the nuts you there's no banana aroma in this mix so you that's why you got to dress these things up hold on my friends just give me a moment and as you can see um I'm going through this to break up these little pieces these little pieces of flour and hopefully I can find a nut <laughs> Oh, no, it came out wrong. Uh, hopefully, oh, I think I see, oh, there's one. Look guys, I found a walnut. So I'm breaking up these little pieces of um, dry mixture before I um, start going in with everything. They don't, it don't have, like I say, I don't smell the banana aroma in here. This, you know, you have to dress these mixes up. And I'm going to be making muffins. I'm going to put these into the muffin tins. Okay. I'm going to get this out. Look, has keep it. Gonna add my bananas. Okay. 
Just throw, put, get everything in there together. You're not baking a cake, so it's okay. Add the oil. My nuts will be last because I'm gonna fold them in. I'm gonna get my half a cup of water, or my half a cup of oil. I mean my half a cup of uh, half and half. Here's my half a cup of half and half to that. And I'm gonna get a half a cup of water. two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you're gonna mix this up. And I'll be back when I get this well blended, okay? Okay, my friends, I had to see which one of these measuring cups would do good for a, uh, the muffin cups. And I see it's the one, um, the, which one of these? It's the one fourth cup. See at home, I have the little cupcake filler. This is the one cup. Cause the uh, other one would be too much. And you'll overflow your muffin pan. So I'm gonna fill these cups and we'll be back, okay?
Oh, forget. Okay, my friends. Um, this um, so far has filled twenty four. Give me twenty four muffins. Um, I have some left, and I think this is gonna fill one. Just one more six pan. Yes, I couldn't work with this. I needed a twelve. And y'all try to find the twenty four um, muffin can muffin tin that I have at home, but they were sold out. So these this will do just fine, you know. These do because I knew that this battle was not gonna do twelve. But um, so here they are. The oven is already preset and already heated at three fifty. So I'm gonna put these in the oven for about um thirty minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, hold on, my friends. Okay, my friends, the banana nut walnuts are all done and they're very pretty. They smell so good. This kitchen really smells good. Um, so they're they're in cupcake wrappers. So if they're really because they're so they're fresh from the oven, you know they're really, really soft. That's why I'm glad they're in cupcake wrappers. So this is them. They're done all the way. I will cut one open, but um, but you know what? I have to show my viewers what what we're working with, right, my friends? And the batter that I have left is going to make six more. I'm going to use one of these pans. So I'm going to peel the cupcake. <laughs> Wrap her down. Look at there. And see, when you pop this open, you can smell the banana flavor. And you see my see those nuts in here. You have nuts. Nuts. You have to add some nuts to these things. Hold on, my friends. Thank you for joining Auntie in Auntie Knows Kitchen again. I appreciate your love and support. And like I always say, tight hugs and kisses to all of you. I love you all. And I hope you make this recipe and jazz up that box mix. Now, I'm, I will do an upload of homemade, but once I return home, not all settled in, um, I'll do a banana walnut recipe, which I have to split it because Caitlin can't have nuts. But anyway, just wanted to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my video. Hit that like button, please, if you wish, and that subscribe button. And if you choose to, you can also hit that bell. But again, go, as I always say, go be you. But one thing about it, be great being you. Until the next upload, see you guys later. Bye.